Today I want to show you how to smooth talk a girl into bed like Hank Moody. I know you want to be charming. I know you want to dominate social interactions and I know you want to make her aroused while you're talking to her. And maybe you already tried to be at least a bit like Hank Moody. Maybe you've watched Californication because I mentioned it over and over and over again, so watch it. But for some reason it didn't work out. And that's why you're here. That's why I want to show you the way you have to talk to women, the topics you should talk about, and the stories and jokes you should share. So how can you actually smooth talk a girl into liking you? And how can you do it like Hank Moody? When you watch Californication, you see that Hank Moody does it with confidence, with an indifferent cheekiness, and he flirts whenever he opens his mouth. He always talks to women in a flirtatious way. And while doing that, he never really takes himself so seriously. And it doesn't hurt to study Hank Moody in action, because he's one of the rare examples where, yeah, where Hollywood in a series got it right. That's how to do it. And the first thing that he does is that he always starts the conversation without expectations. You want to make her smile, you want to make her like you, you want to get the number, you want to get her on the date, and while you have all these expectations, your fear is taking over. It's pressure, pressure, and more pressure. But when you really think about it, if you go with the flow, if you walk up to a woman without an expectation, without thinking, oh, I need to get the number, I need to close the deal, what if she rejects me, oh my god, and I'm unworthy. Instead of doing that, you just walk up to a woman without any expectation. You say, hey, I just want to make her smile, I want to give her a compliment, and when I do that, then I showed up as a man, I did my part. Whatever happens afterwards, I'm not personally affected by that. And this is how you should walk up to women, and then speak slowly and deliberately. Here's what happens when you talk very fast. You appear more nervous, your body language adapts to the speed, so your body language gets a little bit out of control, and you appear with your body more nervous, and then you have less time to think about your words because you're talking so fast. And as a confident man, you speak slowly, very slowly. And when Hank Moody, for example, talks to women, he always talks very slowly, in a way where you can really feel he just wants to say something to them without getting out of this uncomfortable situation because it's not uncomfortable for him. He's cool with who he is, he says what he has to say, and that's it. And then I want you to smoothly control the conversation. A man who tries to dominate a conversation talks as loud as he can, interrupts others and seems arrogant. That's not what you should do. Instead, you should adapt a little bit of Hank Moody's personality. You say what you want to say, but you say it in a way that even if the others don't listen or if they listen, you just say, hmm, I don't care, it's okay, I say what I want to say. No matter if the other person gets triggered, if they get offended, if they don't listen, whatever, you say it. But you don't say it in an overly loud way, in an insecure way where you communicate, I want to be heard, please hear me, but in a sense of, I'm cool with who I am, I'm cool with what I say, if you hear me, it's good, if not, who cares? And then you lead the conversation. Ask yourself, where do you want the conversation to go? The right path would be you talk about funny stuff and you lead the conversation in a playful way. And that's what Hank Moody does all the time. And the left path would be you talk about sexual topics. And that's what Hank Moody does all the time. He combines these two aspects and he does it in a very good way. If you talk about any topic you want, and you talk about it whenever and wherever you want, and you then add this sexual tension to it, that's when women really want to talk to you and enjoy connecting with you. And then you talk as if she was your best friend. How do most guys react as soon as a woman comes into the equation? They get stiff, they get politically correct, and they turn into obedient puppies. I see that all the time in my social circle. When there's a party, a gathering of a few guys, they sit together, they crack inappropriate jokes, they're being themselves, and as soon as somebody introduces his or her girlfriend, or maybe just a female friend to the equation, suddenly the whole dynamic changes, and everybody tries to act, oh, I'm so politically correct. But when you really think about it, what the woman wants, what she's attracted to, is your honest, authentic self. So talk to her as if she was your best friend and she will like you. And no, 
I don't mean putting yourself in the friend zone. That's not the same. It's about being yourself and not caring about what other people, including her, think of you. And then tease her whenever you can. You can actually do that all the time. And no, it's not rude. Women love it. Don't take her so seriously and don't take yourself so seriously. And also don't take her reaction so seriously. A lot of my coaching clients, they struggle with this idea of teasing. Whenever they tease a girl, because then she reacts in a little bit mean, bitchy way. Oh, you're so mean. That's so mean. But what she really means is, hey, I'm getting turned on by you. Just because she acts a little bit offended and she acts like the hurt princess doesn't mean that this is the truth. It's a game. It's the flirting game. So if she's tired, tease her for being a baby. If she's hungry, tease her for, yeah, you can also tease her for being a baby or for cheating on her diet. Or she says something funny, tease her for being Sarah Silverman, I don't know, anything you want. And then choose topics that you're familiar with. The more familiar you are with a topic, the more you have to talk about. And the more you have to talk about a certain topic, the more confident you are in the interaction. There's this one saying, give me six hours to chop down a tree and I will spend the first four hours sharpening the axe. And that's exactly what you have to do. You can prepare a few topics at home. You can practice them in front of the mirror. You don't have to jump into the cold water. You can just, yeah, prepare yourself. It's that easy. Have a few things that you regularly talk about on dates, that you talk about with girls that you meet on the street or at the mall, and then you will become more confident and it will be easier for you to smooth talk a girl into liking you and into bed. And then you can casually mention a compliment. That's what Hank Moody does all the time. Here's how weak men give compliments. They give one compliment after another. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so cute. You're so amazing. And they make this big deal out of it. And then they wait for her approval. And this communicates, I'm insecure. I don't give the compliment because I want to give a compliment, but I give the compliment because I need your approval. Here's how a smooth talker gives a compliment. You mention the compliment, you don't make a big deal out of it, and you don't wait for her reaction. You just don't care. You move on. You just say what you want to say. That's it. And another thing that Hank Moody does really great and that you should do too is to talk fluently in sarcasm. That's how to talk smooth to a girl. Women absolutely love verbal irony. Can you say that verbal irony? I think you get the point. So are you willing to take this risk? If yes, I can highly recommend to watch some old George Carlin stand-up shows and talk in this way. He's a master at sarcasm. And what you can also do is to send her cheeky text messages. Maybe a compliment with a wink smiley, a funny meme or gif, a naughty selfie. And no, by naughty selfie, I don't mean your D in the box. That's not what I mean. Nobody wants to see that. I don't know if sending a dick pic has ever worked. In case it has for you, you can let me know, but I wouldn't do it personally. Instead, why don't you talk about funny topics with a serious face? It took me a long time to get this skill down, but once I got it down... I discovered that it's really, really effective. If you say something funny and she laughs her ass off and you look at her as if you said it in the most serious way, this is very cheeky, very playful and it shows confidence. And a very good example for that would be the old Naked Gun movies with Leslie Nielsen. In case you watch these movies when he says something completely ridiculous, completely funny and he says it in the most serious face. Or what was his first movie? I think Airplane, that's how it's called, where they're all in this airplane and they all have a food poisoning and then everything goes crazy. But yeah, something like this. Leslie Nielsen in his old movies is a perfect example of this technique. And then share stories that take her breath away. Make her laugh, make her giggle, make her blush, make it adventurous, make it sexual, make it fun. And if you don't have any stories to talk about, then you really have to rise like a phoenix from the ashes. Because in my audiobook and ebook course, Rise of the Phoenix, I not only show you how to build an amazing lifestyle that turns your life into one big adventure that you can then talk about, I also show you exactly how you can use storytelling and different ways of communicating with girls to get into their panties. So if you want to find out more, check out the link in the description. For now, have a look at the next point. Say outrageous things with a cheeky smile. You don't have to be that harmless. Harmless men get clawed apart. Women like dangerous men. So say whatever you want to say. Wow, this lady has the biggest boobies I've ever seen. Do you believe in love after the first orgasm? You're so sexy, I'm melting. Whatever you want to say, say it. And if you don't have the confidence to do that, then you really need 
to rise like a phoenix from the ashes. If you want to find out more about my audiobook and ebook course, you can check out the link in the description. And if you want to find out more about the Skype coaching and the limited number of infield coaching that I offer for this year, then you can check out the second link in the description. Now that you know how to smooth talk a girl into bed, I would really appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below. You can either let me know how you talk smoothly to a girl, or you can let me know what you think about Californication, which is by far my most favorite TV show. Because I want you to have the same success with women that Hank Moody has. And if you enjoyed watching this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to smash the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Audio jump.